Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Dominique is still here. Hello. We just finished filming our fall mall day vlog and we are on our way to the Rosewood in Dallas. We are, this weekend I'm working with Lexus and they are taking us to Lizzo tonight. And we're staying at the Rosewood, which is a hotel in Dallas. I have wanted to stay at for so long. It's like the, like the Rosewood everywhere. Yeah. This is the Rosewood Turtle, Turtle Creek. Can't talk. I'm gone to dinner there. It's just so beautiful. No, I've wanted, like the, that's where, isn't that where? Courtney um, and Travis. Yeah, yeah. got engaged. What you uh, call it? Uh, the Rosewood Marymount or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and Santa Barbara. I just didn't know it was like a lot of hotels in it. Mm hmm Interesting. Ton. Resorts, apartments even. Wow. He hires Disney Imagineers. That makes so much sense. That's why everything feels very like That makes Disney. so much like, sense. It feels happy. The Americana. The Grove. The Grove and- Palisades. And, yeah, the Palisades. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, uh, we are on our way. Thank you so much to Lexus. We are very excited. We're gonna be testing some stuff. We got some stuff going on this week. We are going to our favorite people's Halloween party this weekend. So we're gonna see like, this is actually the perfect weekend for you to hear, be here. You know when you're, it's just summer and then all of your friends are gone and then suddenly it's Halloween on and all of your friends are back. Yeah, everyone's back. Wow, I'm so happy. So we're on our way. Um, We have to check into our room. We'll give you guys a little hotel tour. We're just gonna take you all along for the weekend. It is technically like Halloween weekend. The weekends of holidays this year are just like kind of confusing. We're not dressing up like crazy. I have one. One, you have one really good one. I had a good costume when I was gonna go all out. I actually like, if I ha feel good about a costume, I like doing it, but we have like a steak dinner before our Halloween party tomorrow, and we're gonna have to go straight from there because it ends late, so I'm literally gonna add a mic and be Hannah Montana, and that's my vibe. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If y'all are new, subscribe. Welcome to the vlog. My name is Kinsey, this is my YouTube channel. This is Dominique, my best friend, and Dom yeah. is basically like the co-host of this channel. So beautiful. It's so nice here. I feel rich. No, it's very like me when this is a gift. <laughs> this is not my money, guys. It is. I'm loving it. All right, y'all. Giving you a little bit of a room tour. It is so cute. We have a desk. It's actually like a very large hotel room. It is so nice. I've wanted to stay here forever. It's so cozy. It feels like a home. It's just so cute. And then out here. We have a little balcony, but it is raining, but it's really cute. Like, love the view. Love, love, love. I love Turtle Creek area. It's very cozy, and I love how many trees there are. Okay, then coming back out here, we have a little welcome thing. Our itinerary, our Lexus things. These are probably for the concert tonight, I'm assuming. Um, we have a little, like, espresso machine, some candy. Oh, gummy bears. Yes. We got gum snacks very cute oh my god these are cute too these are a little bit different the ones i have at home i like these better and then we also have a little closet over here oh wow very very nice they're bringing up our bags right now so we don't really have anything and then you come in here we're gonna have like a spa night i think when we get back from the concert because it's raining and like i don't think anyone's going out tonight so we have our robes here this nice bathtub I personally love a shower. Really beautiful shower, if you will. Oh my god, look, cowboy grass, that's cute. Very excited, thank you so much, Lexus. Even though I'm just Kenzie's plus one, I appreciate the opportunity to slay. If you all are Twilight fans, there's nothing in the world that will ever mean more to me than the Twilight series, I was just on Gombat, then you know. But it's raining. Dom ordered some room service before a little cocktail hour. I've been eating her fries. And I'm just waiting on her so we can take some pictures. Story of my life. Just waiting on Dominique. Here's my outfit. My set is Zara. My boots are, I think, like Nasty Girl. I don't even know, but they're comfy. All right, guys. Dom and I are running out. We are ready. We're going to the Lizzo concert. Very exciting. They got a suite, the Lexus suite, and we're getting drinks with a little cocktail hour. Right now, people, the rest of the people on the trip, I know Bria is here and her husband, we already saw them, but I don't know the rest of the people coming. So we're gonna make new friends. This is my look. It's like a Zara set, nasty gal boots. These boots are actually like really comfy. We're off. Dom, how are you feeling about seeing Lizzo tonight? I'm so excited. I haven't seen Lizzo since last year. We just like know it in our hearts that one day. Lizzo and I are I, I have like a deep knowing. Like a deep a deep knowing, yeah. Just like in my soul, in my spirit. Mm hmm Also, hey guys. Cute outfit, Aritzia, Aritzia. Literally everything that you bought today. Free people, yeah. sheer text, the new bag. The sunglasses are cute. Thanks, I got those at the airport. 
Oh wow, they're really cute. Here we are. No, like my parents were like living, living. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at the show. Hey vloggers. You're acting drunk. She has started some alcohol. I'm just hyper. I drink. No, wait, it, like the way that you act. It's not as bad, but, like it's the oh. way that you act is the exact same. It's because when I'm drunk, I'm just me without the anxiety. Like, we all need to have anxiety. Yes, my first drink is my anxiety medication. But I'm not drinking right now. Just water and Red Bull. I'm having Red Bull too. Um, Dark days. Vloggers, if Lotto, if you ever see this, I just love you a lot. Don't get come to the phone right now. Like, my hair is two inches and I'm like, <laughs> like, I just saw Lotto, she has like a 30 inch weave in and she's like, and I'm like, Inches. When I met Dom, in case you guys are new to the vlogs, we were in college and Dom walked into school with a buzz hat and green hair. So like she had like barely any hair now and it's grown out a lot. And now it's... I miss the buzz hat and green Honestly, hair. Honestly, <laughs> I might bring it back. This song, they need to turn it up. Like, if you're gonna have us wait between sets, which is fine, just like... Like, turn it up a little. How we, how we gonna hear anything? How we gonna hear anything? I do. Brings you back to Nashville. We had, you love high news as well. We had such a magical experience on the Ponce Chunk Express. I will never forget it. Like, guys, I will I never was, forget you. Ponce I Chunk literally Express. had a rash from being allergic to moonshine. And still <laughs> managed to get messed up the next day on high news. Changes your life. <laughs> We just got back from the hotel. We'll recap in a second. They gave this beautiful, like, UGG Lexus Ooh. blanket. It's like a look how cozy it is. I also freaked out. That was the first thing I saw. Chocolate covered strawberries. Um, we're gonna do a little recap. It's way past my bedtime again. Hey guys, we're taking our makeup off. Do you want to do a little recap of the night? How was it? Yes, I it do. Was really beautiful. I really need to change my shirt. So Dom will be back. I actually do like how I've been doing my makeup. And I say that, but I, I, I haven't changed a single thing. So maybe I like the fact that I've been doing my makeup. Something I'm working on is like being less lazy when it comes to getting ready. Oh my god, she's taking forever. Here I am posing while I'm waiting for Dom. Back in my everyday pajamas, like these are the biggest must have in my life. Like these pajamas have changed my life. To answer the questions, because I did post on Instagram, I got a lot of replies, everyday or skims pajamas. Depends on your vibe. I live in everyday and skims. Can I not have two favorites? You know what I mean? Um, everyday are like really, really soft and a little bit lighter. So it depends on what you want. Skims are a little bit more like sculpting to your body, their ribs, so I feel like they're a little bit more flattering. I don't think that really like matters, but I don't know, maybe you care. And then they're a little bit thicker. So it just depends on your vibe. And the skims are a little bit out of breader. They're like a little bit cheaper, so better price point, but. Okay, so let's do a little recap of the concert. Hey, hey, child. Okay, well, hey, like, what did you think of it? Like, is it again? Oh my God. God. Like, <laughs> it's like I'm wearing a pajama top, but it's not even buttoned, so like, what's the point? Guys. I need to talk to you very seriously right now, okay? It's like I've never been in Kenzie's vlog before and I'm like really, really She's doing here, guys. things up. Just took off my lashes because it's time to get real. Sorry. Lizzo has legitimately like, I don't think you guys understand what I say. Like I was so emotional watching Lizzo tonight because I know that everyone loves Lizzo. Like who doesn't love Lizzo? And like the people who don't are honestly just lying and they're trolls and they're just saying that to get a reaction out of people. Lizzo genuinely deserves every single good thing in this world plus more. Like she is such an incredible person and I feel like 
just plus all the love she gets like she still deserves more love like don't even play with her like she was literally playing the flute while twerking and telling everyone to love themselves she was so so good like I feel like we don't even talk about how like like everything her brand her music like all of it is just about like truly 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 being okay with who you are like pure self acceptance like and I just really 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 appreciate that and I feel like as a society like we don't focus on that enough like truly self acceptance like loving yourself despite the things that you literally can't change about yourself like that is so important and that is the message she preaches and that's literally what her show is like all about she went and talked to so many people in the crowd like even people who were literally in the freak in heaven like people who were just not like <laughs> like on another stratosphere she was like talking to people at the very tippity tippity top and the freaking bottom lizzo is love and one day i'm gonna be friends with her and i'm gonna show her this clip and i'm gonna be like lizzo you need to understand i have rode for you since day one and yeah i feel very passionate about that concert like i cried multiple times what i was saying what i was trying to say earlier about obviously we were at the show and i don't mean this in like a problematic you was a way i mean this in like a like almost like soul way the actual similarity between you guys okay like you both have this quality that make other people feel like seen heard accepted loved but it's not necessarily like intentional, even though obviously it's like something that like you care about, but it's like a very, like people gravitate to you guys. Yeah. Like as people, but like you don't, you can't do something to like stop that. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Like it's not something you turn up. Like if you don't feel the way that you're making other people feel, it doesn't matter because it just is so natural. Does that make sense? Wow, Kenzie, thank you. I was just like super inspired. Like I just was crying for so many reasons. Like first time I cried was because like I just fucking love Lizzo and I respect the actual fucking shit out of her and I think she's such a beautiful person. Second time I cried was because like I think her message of like just helping people like love themselves through like how much she loves herself is like something that I just want to be more proactive about and like carry that same message because I think it's like so easy to like forget that like that's the first step to like finally feeling like good about yourself comfortable about yourself like so many lessons that I've learned about like just like self-acceptance like has actually come from Lizzo and I think that like something that she talked about tonight that really just really like I will just never not think about that but she just talked about protecting other people and like the way like her fans protect her is like the same way she wants to protect people and everyone deserves to be protected and i just like really i think stand that message like that shit moved me like that shit moved me so hard and i was like i just want to be a person that does that day in day out like whether it's on my platform, the people I meet, like, I just want everyone to feel the love that Lizzo gives. And because of that, I want you to know that I'm going to be friends with Lizzo. And it's going to be great. Okay, the other thing I was going to say, too, that goes back to, like, kind of what I was saying is I think you think you're, like, so much, like, what you're saying that you want to be is what you are. Like, I think you think in your head that you're a lot further. Like, that's what I was, like, trying to say to you at the concert when, like, all the reasons that you love Lizzo are actually things that like qualities that you have in yourself that people love about you like obviously like unique and different or whatever yeah. but like the things that you're saying about her like oh i want to be more like that or i want to be whatever like you are that i think you just don't recognize it i've just been going through i was telling kenzie like i've just been going through like a really hard time like for a long time like i just haven't been feeling like myself and I think that's what also made me just so emotional like seeing lizzo tonight because it was just like kind of a reminder like sometimes you just have like in your 20s this existential crisis of like Jesus Christ, like, what am I doing with my life? Like, yeah. what is my purpose? Like, am I, like, f being a fulfilling person? Like, am I fulfilling, have a life that's, like, fulfilling? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's everyone's goal. And just seeing Lizzo tonight, I'm like, dude, yes. Like, I actually am. Like, and if I feel like I'm not, like, there are things that I can do to start, like, creating that space.
space and I don't know, it's just like really, really powerful and super cool because I just, the world needs more of that energy and love and I wanna be like someone that provides that more. And I think it's really easy to become jaded and cynical and be like, oh, like that's corny or like, oh, like whatever. But is it, like, is it corny? It's actually not. It's actually the fundamental reason like we're alive, like love taking care of other people. Like, when you think of your favorite person on this planet, the first thing that comes to mind isn't like, oh, I love Kenzie because she has the best brows ever. Like, no, honestly, yes, Kenzie has great brows, but I, the when I think of Kenzie, like, I don't think of her eyebrows. I think of like, how Kenzie's been like a great friend to me and like so much other stuff. And I think like, even that message of just like that reminder that the best thing about you is truly not what you look like. And I love that that's another thing Lizzo just preaches the fucking house down on is just that. And there's so many things like I, it was just very spiritual. Like yeah. I like in the most like serious way, like that was some spiritual ass shit. Like I was really just realizing things as Kylie Jenner says, like I was just realizing things. I also think if you could see yourself, like obviously I'm saying this and like knowing deeper what's been going on, whatever. Like if yeah. you could see yourself though, the way that everyone else sees you, it would be like, not that like it's what other people's opinions are, yeah. but just in the way of like, you would feel totally different. Well, and I think like, that- I, I think all of our realities on who like, who we think we are, whatever, and like whatever, we're so hard on ourselves and we're, it's always warped. But if you could see yourself how like literally anyone else in the world sees you, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, and I think that's the thing. Like sometimes you just get so in your head that yeah. it's hard to like, it's hard to zoom out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I think tonight was like a zoom out moment. Like I was like, holy shit. Like yeah. there were like so many things that I like, I want to just incorporate into my life and like add into my life to just feel that. Like, and the thing is, this is gonna sound a little woo woo, but like, hear me out. My friend and I were talking, we were talking about like, I always make a joke like if I don't like something I say it's low vibrational <laughs> and I think it's really funny when I say that But to be honest being low vibrational is very easy to do like to wake up and like not be happy Not be satisfied to be like that. That's that person's being annoying that person's being like, you know what I'm saying But to be high vibrational and like see the best in everyone not in like a toxic way, but just in like a I have an outlook of like my glass is half full like that perspective is honestly that takes a lot more energy that takes like, like believing it's, the best. yeah it's it's harder but that road is honestly way more important and way more worth it than just taking the easy way out of being like blah, 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 blah. everyone sucks like shit sucks and it does I totally understand what it's like to be there but tonight really challenged me because I feel like Lizzo's just built something so beautiful from despite how she feels because I feel like she's so honest about feeling sad and like going through hard times but like still making the best out of those things. And that shit literally just had me thinking like, wow. I want to remind myself that I have the power and ability to do that despite how I feel. There's very few people in the world, too, that, like, that also, like, I'm just, like, sitting. It was, like, a very, like, emotional concert, and, like, it literally felt like we were almost in, like, okay, like, I'm saying this not in, like, a... No, say it, because I, way. I feel saying, the exact same way. I'm saying this more in, like, a... It feels like when there's, like... And again, I don't mean this as in you, Lizzo, like all the problematic ways, it's not what I mean. I more so meant it as like, as your best friend, like an, more of like an eye-opening thing in the way of like, it was just like spiritual. Like I don't know how to describe it. Like it no, feels like when like, okay, like you are in a room and your friend gets a prophetic word. Like that's no, what it felt like. No, literally. Like yes. I kind of felt, this is gonna sound fucking weird. I don't even know. You might cut this out of the vlog. I don't really know. It literally just felt like I was seeing like a potential future of like yes. myself yes. and how I could like just channel my positive energy into like inspiring other people to like be happy. There are very, very, very few people in the world 
Lizzo being one of them, you being one of them that I'm about to describe, like just in general though, there are very, very, very few people in the world that have like these two qualities. The first being that they still like carry, this sounds like so Christian, I don't really, I don't mean it this way. No, I know, I'm like, but they're, I'm, like, like I'm like the verbiage that we're using, but like, but me, I okay. literally don't, it's just, No, but yeah. like carry joy yeah. throughout and like believe the best in people. It, but also still fight for people. Yeah. Because it's very easy to go down a road when you're fighting for people to where it's obviously draining and depressing as hell, right? Yeah. And then two, like what I was saying earlier, there's very few people who can make people feel the way that these people, like that you or Lizzo or uh, other like friends that we have in our like, personal lives that uh, people don't know long, like make people feel. But if I can count like very, very few people I would describe this way that can make people feel as like loved and welcomed and like protected and cared for and like whatever it is, like all the positive yeah. things. But to a different level, again, while they, even if they don't always feel that way, but it's a natural like force of people being attracted, like they can't not want to be already, even if you don't feel that way. You yeah, I'm saying like it doesn't yes. go away even when you are like at your worst or whatever it is. Like you feel like you're at your worst. Yeah, and it's very, very, very rare. But that's tonight what I was thinking. I'm like, those were the two things, like just like the world at large. Yes, I agree, and I think that like that was just something that I don't know, just genuinely inspired me. I think like I mean, I've been feeling a lot like more inspired lately. And that was like something that just really spoke to me. I don't know, I feel like I've had like a mindset shift of like seeing the world from like a different perspective. Like we're constantly learning lessons every day. And, I, and it's interesting because I feel like ever since I've had that perspective shift, like I'll leave just even the smallest things and having these really like late night deep thoughts about so many intricate things. And it just feels like spiritual transformation. And I like, and I think when people think spiritual, they're like, Ugh, I don't yeah. know, like open your third eye. But to be honest, like to me, like spirituality is just like your spirit, like your inside yourself, that intuition, like, your gut, that. like that, that thing that's like talking to you, that tells you to do something, tells you to not do something. Like I think for a long time, I've just, haven't been able to listen to that gut and be like oh, what am I supposed to be doing like how am I supposed to be like tapping in like so many different things and like to be honest like tonight was like one of those things where I was like wow like the universe is speaking to me and showing me like a beautiful picture and I'm like choosing to look at it and I think that like oftentimes in life like the universe is trying to show us like a beautiful picture but like I don't know it's really important to like just Take moments that feel special and know that they feel special for a reason. Like, yeah. tonight's definitely gonna be one of those nights that's like, in a weird way, I know it's like life changing and absolutely transformational. Don't know why yet, but yeah. definitely just was. And it was really fucking cool. I was like top 10, like, honestly, top five, like, most impactful, like, moments like just very 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 impactful moment so lizzo if you ever see this um i lizzo, wanna come over and lunch? yeah like lizzo i love you i love you guys i love kenzie i love everyone all right guys good morning we just got room service dom got let's see ah. I, I, I almost got that. I wish I did. Instead, I got French toast, got some coffee, apple juice, of course. It just looks so beautiful with the rain. Very cozy. Um, pretty soon, we got to go down to meet Lexus. Actually, we're supposed to be there now, but if you got here late, um, to meet Lexus because we are test driving some cars today. As we go around Dallas, I think we're gonna stop and like bring people live show tickets and just stuff like that, so it's gonna be really fun. I'm getting an IV today because I've been needing to get one anyways and I feel like this weekend's like the perfect time. All right guys, this is my outfit today. It's really nothing special, don't love the shoes and the pants together, but this is what I packed, and I thought these pants fit differently. Anyways, 
Top is Skims. My bag is obviously Chanel. Pants are, I don't know. I think they're Princess Bali. They're not the Aritzia ones. I want the Aritzia ones. I just like never try them on in store. I thought I was trying them on yesterday and I got the wrong ones and I just didn't ask for whatever. But we're going down. We're test driving two Lexus cars today. So the, the morning we're test driving one and then we have lunch with Lexus and then we are going to go test drive again with another car, I think. But in our little morning drive break, we can actually explore Dallas. AKA we're going to restore and I'm getting an IV and Dom's gonna do this like year thing. So cute. I mean, well, those aren't even booths, the docks. Yeah, cute. We're in Alexis. Dominique. Oh, the lighting in here is awesome. Oh, did you want to take the camera and. and say a couple words. Dom is not really um, offering much help this morning, so I just figured that maybe she could chime in here. So we're on our way to Foxtrot, the new Knox location. No, you're not gonna. Woo! Look at this angle. That's embarrassing. Like, my arms shouldn't be sore, but I swear to God they are. My arms just like hurt from yeah. where the bags were. Maybe. It's the way I keep no. trying to vlog. Dom, so like, honestly, different. like, cut the cameras. Cut the cameras dead ass. Dead ass. Cut the, cut the cameras dead ass. Y'all like. <laughs> She's back. It's Lexus Dom now. Right now it's giving very Lexus luxury. I don't know, like these sunglasses, I got them at the airport for $30, which ugh, a little steep if you ask me, but kind of Balenciaga. Whoa, that's like a sick photo. I don't know, it's something about this hat, the sunglasses, the sweater, Kenzie driving, me having the vlog camera, making me feel some some type of way. We were talking about this last night. If your life is going to absolute shit and you just are like in the worst place you've ever been, don't worry because you'll always have Texas in the fall. Because once it gets to that point, everything will be fixed. Every single time. Every I year. literally saw up to Kenzie after we cut the cameras last night <laughs> because I was just telling her like, Texas in fall really just there's a sh there's a shift in your mind <laughs> where you just something happens I don't know yeah. like your brain just like rewires like the hamster gets back on the wheel and starts running again like hey guys we're going into Foxtrot I don't come I didn't see it uh, she's just trying to bother me we literally passed it and then she I keeps asking where it is and I said it's right here Dom well, that is not what happened <laughs> Cute. Cute. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dom, okay, guess my biggest fear. This is pure syrup and I'm here for it. We got peppermint milkas at Fox Shot, guys. Looks so Look. fucking good. As soon as I saw it on the menu, Dom said she wasn't getting anything. Getting an IV. <laughs> the IV goes in. We've made friends in the room. They're all done. The IV goes in my arm and Dom goes, ha! Ah, damn! Freaks out. No, literally, like, I'm the one with the IV. You're supposed to make it better, and you... Okay, I, can't, I can only use one arm. You're so inappropriate. I am rinsing my ear wax out. Okay. Do don't ever, it? ever take Dom with you to okay, get a drip. Because then she keeps talking, but it's like, I don't know, but if it was me and there was a needle in my arm, I just couldn't, like, I'm, like, disturbed. I'm sorry. And also, um, I'm... We made friends. This guy, Cliff, he was literally so nice. He used to sit there. He used to sit there. We've been um, here for like an hour and a half. And he used to sit there, and I literally miss him. He's our friend. He's like so cute. He I, I know. He's <laughs> like right there. I'm like, hey. Um, he is genuinely, he's so nice. And just being remember. All right, guys. We're back at the hotel. We're going to get lunch at the restaurant. It's so good. Oh, oh, not the glasses. She's a star in these glasses. It's like a different personality comes out. Well, here's all the Lexus cars. restaurant so beautiful i vlog kenzie's on the bed but i just wanted to show you guys my halloween costume i'm juno no her outfit of the day you have to be juno like you have to be dedicated oh um, oh is that why you wanted converse yes oh that's why well, so you can just order them if you can't fit them in your suit oh i know anyways um this is my juno costume <laughs> juno's been one of my favorite movies since i was in seventh grade uh when the movie came out and yeah I honestly just like this outfit, period. 
Alright, Kenzie. Dom is Juno. Yes, I have my pregnancy <laughs> belly on and it like meshes with my boobs, so it just looks like I'm wearing a Well pillow. from like the front. Yeah. Not from the side. But we're we picked a winner for our TikTok giveaway, so we're going to give someone at least some live tickets. And we're dropping off her Starbucks order and the Starbucks order that she gave was just I think it was just not a real order or something They couldn't do it. It was so stressful and Dom was freaking out and Dom's dressed as Juno and I'm sitting here doing nothing <laughs> Like like she didn't even like <laughs> I, I, was like I, I already knew what was gonna happen like I already knew it was gonna be a kind of a shit show I don't think it was correct, but the car that we're in right now is really sick. It's so it's sick. The, the Lexus RC F Lexus RCF. It's like it's really boss. it's like a sports car, and it has a V8 engine, 472 pounds. She's acting like she no, just I'm knows this off the top of her head. Now she just read it. So, anyways, 472 horsepower. But I do know it was a V8 though. We are gonna drop this off, and then we're going to take photos of her in her Juno costume, and then we're gonna go back to the hotel and chill. I'm gonna drive around this bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna go. With you. Imagine like I'm the one driving it around. <laughs> yeah, you. Dom's Lexus deal. Not Dom tearing up as I just shot her Juno oh. video, oh. thinking that she actually I has. I literally a baby. can't even get in the car. I got Kenzie. another coffee. Kenzie, guys, like I think I kind of slayed that video. It no, was it was a direction that got us. There. No, honestly, it really was because I was just gonna like <clears throat> back it up, but I felt like there needed to be a, more a pizzazz, a wow factor. So I started zoomed up on her belly with her hands around. So you can clearly see that like someone's pregnant. So like you're whatever. It's like obviously it's Juno. Yes, guys. Um, I'm really excited. The the Instagram video is the best one. Hi guys. So this song, if you know, you know. LOL, Miley Cyrus, best movie ever. Okay, so tonight we have a like steak dinner at Fearing, so like a nice place. And then we have to go straight to a Halloween party. So this is my look. I was gonna go all out this year. I had my costumes ready, I was very excited. And then like, that's just not how the plans ended up working, you know? So I'm wearing this blue dress from Princess Polly. These black boots. Nasty girl, the same ones I wore last night. And then I have a pop star headset. And Lauren is bringing me a leather jacket because I'm gonna be cold. So I'm Hannah Montana, um, basically. And it is very low effort, minimal effort. I feel, um, not that great, but this is the real gag is is that this is not gonna fit in my purse. So I'm also gonna have to carry my headset. So that's awesome. Um Dom's almost ready. We're gonna head down in like a few minutes to go to dinner and then we are leaving for the party. And I'm very excited. I'm excited to see all my friends. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this is a look. Happy Sunday. We just got Starbucks. We pulled up to the Starbucks drive through line and I got a text from Laura with her order. So that's what you get for your sharing your location with your friends. And now we're going to Sprouts. Today I'm gonna make Dom her favorite soup again, even though I already made it and I had it ready upon her arrival. Isn't that's that true? true? It's the easiest soup ever to make. I've offered to help her learn how to make it because you make food at home. I do. You just, it tastes better when you don't make no, it. No, Kenzie, you said, do you want me to make it? No, you don't need to make it there, but you can make it for yourself at home. Yeah, I can make it for myself at home. I also think that like, I would I would make it here now, but you don't like when I'm in the kitchen. That's not true. Do you know how many times you... I've been like, do you want to help? No, guys, the amount of times I'm like, Tom, you want to cook? Just like, um, no, I think no, uh, no, no, no. Listen, no. listen, 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 listen. Maybe in the past, but there has been moments when I've asked. Yeah, you've you, offered sometimes. And you say, I understand why my mom hates when there's multiple people in the kitchen. Like, I I totally understand why my mom hates. Like, it's just, there's no room in here. There's time. no room in here. And it wasn't you, it was the dogs. And I was like. Because my mom hates the dogs in the kitchen. It wasn't you. And I was like, okay. No. <laughs> Guys, Dom will be like, I'll be like, all right, do you want to like cook together? And you're like, oh, you know, I mean, I think it tastes better when you make it. You know, uh, I, I got the dogs. I did make broth. First off, we didn't ever make broth. <laughs> and you know what? We ordered broth and we, we poured it into the... I made a soup. With me? 
Remember when I did a day in your life? I made like three meals that day. I like yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I usually. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I honestly, honest to God, and maybe people can relate to this. I don't normally make all three. Yeah, yeah. but I did that day. Yeah. I made, remember sauerkraut and bacon, and then I made a soup, and then we made some. The soup meat. you made was literally just vegetables and broth. It was so. I saw to cut them up. Like it's the um, work. I'm just gonna make the soup today <laughs> because. Don doesn't want to. Don't. We're gonna watch a show. Oh, what about that show called the? But don't make it that I don't want to make the soup. Well, that is true. I asked you if you want to. Do you want? Okay. Watch this show. Everyone keeps talking about it. Do you know? No, what we're about? not gonna watch that. Why? Because it's a corny, like Hallmark movie. We love that. But what if we watch the? Okay, okay. After we watch the two episodes of Love oh Is Blind. Oh my gosh. You're Kenzie, you know it's so funny. I'll watch something. Okay, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Why is it so hard for you? I, I honestly, like, it is, I can't describe to you how difficult it is for me to watch, like, a TV show that isn't, like, One Tree Hill or something. Like, you know people are like, I can't read, I won't read, whatever. I'm that same way with TV. It is, I don't know what it is, reality specifically, that okay. I just can't watch. Okay, it. I genuinely think this season it being in Dallas, I really think it's going to change your mind. Also, guys, I think the reason why Kenzie should watch it is because what if she has some of these people on her podcast? It would be, wh who would love to have her have Nancy on the podcast? No offense to Nancy, I just don't know Nancy. I would love to see. If you ever had Bartiz on the podcast, I would have to be. I would have you to would be, be in like the corner of the room. With like a I would literally have to be there so I could, <laughs> I would walk. honestly do a podcast takeover so that I could literally give him a piece of my mind. You need to bring your podcast back and you need to just make it a rewatch podcast. I should do that. Why don't you just do that? I actually have a really good idea for a podcast okay. that I've been messing been, around with. Cooking, cooking up. I have actually been cooking up. My other friend Maya, you haven't met her. But in all seriousness, I actually was going to ask you about it because I knew you would give it to me straight. Good. So when we're going to have a business to, meeting When now. I talk to Kenzie, she really just talks to me. And does does not hold back. I'm not mean to you. I'm not mean. Just it's just never mean. It's just the truth. But I'm not gonna tell like would you rather me lie to you? No, and that's why that's honestly why I appreciate it. But I don't like shut down your ideas ever. You never shut down my ideas, but you give me honest feedback. You never like it's not It's like, mainly it's mainly never you. There's other things involved yeah. that I'm like, that's not a good idea. No, 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 no. But it's never you. No, it's never me. It's never. It's always like I think in the past Kenzie's been really helpful with like if I want to do something, but I just need sometimes I need to get help, get help getting my ducks in a row, knowing what I need to cut out, knowing what I, I, need I to also bring think in. like it was harder before before you went on your like stopping people pleasing journey and you grew so much in that way. Yeah. So I, I like I think it was I needed you needed more help before and you don't anymore. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's the other thing. Because it was just like everything was going on at once and it was more like it was your judgment's lot. clouded. Yeah, you know? I think I've also cut back a lot in a lot of ways, in a lot of areas, to now I think I'm in a place where I'm ready to like clap back in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay, well, we're gonna have this business discussion and we're gonna go into Sprout. Here we are, my favorite place, favorite ingredients, Dominique. Sprouts, what's up, sister? Do you love Sprouts? I actually do. The Sprouts is literally 0.2 seconds away from my house. It's actually the closest grocery store from my house in LA. And also, I don't know, like na more natural, like grocery store. Yeah, like store. healthier. I, I cannot choose them. Oh, yeah, I can. I don't have alcohol. Um, in LA, that's on Instacart. Okay, guys, Dom and I, we just recorded our episode. It was a really good time. And we're gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, Dom. Guys, I love you so much. This was really fun. Um, and I'll see you again next weekend. In two weeks, buy your tickets to the Dallas Live Show, November 11th at the Factory. Don't forget, love you guys so much. Bye. Dom is a night owl and I am a morning person. Yes. It's one of the billion ways that we are like quite literally the exact opposite. Um, and Dom woke me up this morning. I, I was, I, I kept turning over, kind of looking at Kenzie. I could tell, and I was like, no, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I was like, okay, she's gonna sleep, and I love that. I wish you would do that more.